All right, so episode two, Tales from the Crypt, all through the house. Ah. Co-starring Larry Drake, Dr. Giggles, as a killer Santa. So uh, Larry Drake plays a Michael Myers who escaped a mental institution on Christmas Eve. One of the people's houses he fucking broke into and murdered. They had a Santa costume. And it being the holiday season and all, he puts it on because he's a he's a festive axe murderer, Joe. So we uh, see this lady, what do you call it, walking back and forth, pacing behind her husband with one of those hot pokers you use to move logs around in the fireplace. Mm -hmm. And she just fucking whacks this guy in the head with it, sticks in his fucking head. The little girl comes down because she heard a noise like, oh, shit, is that Santa Claus? Where the fuck is he? I want my shit. God damn. And the mom's just like, no, no, not yet. Get upstairs, otherwise Santa's not going to (laughs) come. And uh, she goes upstairs, takes the kid upstairs. She tries to get rid of the body, and we hear on the fucking radio, oh, there's a crazy Michael Myers running around. Lock your doors. Don't go inside. So she doesn't hear it because she's bringing the dead body outside. But luckily, fucking Larry Drake shows up with an axe. They get into a little tussle. Axes are swung. People are hit with said axes. And she says, you know what? If I stick this axe in my dead husband's head, I could just blame it on Larry Drake. So that's what she does. But then when she goes back to the body, The axe is gone, Joe. Holy shit. So she locks the door, goes to look for the little girl. You hear the little girl downstairs. She goes, oh, thank fuck, you're safe. And then she pulls Larry Drake. He's like, hey, I told you Santa was here, and I let him in. Yeah, and then she pulls a fucking Tom Atkins in Halloween 3. No! For like 20 fucking minutes it goes on and then the cops show up and shoot Larry Drake. That was like a whole distraction. Her just screaming no, no, no for so long because she knew eventually the cops would come and Larry Drake would be shot and killed and he would be blamed for the murder of the husband and this was the only episode of Tales from the Crypt that ended happily ever after. <laughs> Except none of that happened and it ended with her screaming. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Like this one was also done in the Tales from the Crypt movie with the, I think Joan Collins was the woman. And uh, I thought it was better in the movie. Like I honestly don't remember the, this episode that well, but, uh, but yeah. And it's one of the better stories from the Tales from the Crypt, you know, like, I think it had that, uh, I forgot the artist's name, but the art looks pretty good on it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> you're rewatching the shit. I'm not. But the movie version was good. Yeah, this one was all right. Uh, this one was never my favorite. This one's a lot of other people's favorites, but it was all right. Dean Cundy shot it. It looked nice. Fred Decker wrote it or adapted it, I should say. So there's that. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. I think uh see if when I remember from what I remember, I think season one's just okay, and then we really fucking hit the ground running with season two. If I remember excuse me, I'm full of the burps. Yeah. If I remember three, I think next you got chopped poker to watch if i remember the order correctly oh shit with our boy lance henriksen uh, onsf so yeah tune in maybe next week for that or another one all right then boy god